What's good YouTube? This is Maxwell and today I'm going to show you guys how to animate your artwork in Photoshop. This will be the second animation video I'm posting on my channel about animating in Photoshop. And I'm going to leave a link in the description to the previous one I did. Well, that's not really all about animating artwork. It's just based on animating just animating like if you want to make a cartoon video and so on it's just something like that just a basic step and this is really going to be a basic step and it's going to be about how to animate your artwork with time we are going to go further when we're going to mix up photoshop and after effects to create a nice 3d animation of our artwork so let's just drop, jump right into this so then the first thing you are going to do when you get into photoshop is for you to change your workspace or open up your timeline if you wish to so mine i'm just going to go up to windows workspace and push sorry about that and motion now it's going to open up the timeline for me but if you are satisfied with your previous workspace and you don't have the timeline you can just go over to windows and click on timeline you're going to get the timeline for right here and i'm going to hit on control zero to fit my artwork to screen now when you want to animate you have to select the layers which you want to animate and put them into one single layer so what are we animating i'll be animating the subject and just the background so i'm going to split those two into just two layers and how am i going to do that but first before we start doing that let's look over here now the background will have a vibrance layer above the background which is this and then we have this is the main subject right here okay let me turn this off so we have the vibrance layer like this uh, not much is doing but we can see that so we have the subject which is this then we have the line separately we have the color pop separately curves and every other thing separately all right so we just have to merge all this into one layer so if you are going to modify this work later on or you can still have something to do to the artwork this is how you are going to merge everything together so select the topmost layer and make sure that your background is hidden then head over to the topmost layer select that and hit ctrl or shift plus e and a keyboard to make a merge copy of everything now you can turn off every other layer so i'm just going to group all the layers and just going to drag this down i'm not really going to save this document but i'm just trying to show you how to organize your stuff now you can easily just merge down these two if you like but i'm just going to repeat the same process turning off every other layers selecting the background and the vibrance then hit ctrl shift plus alt and e now that is going to give me both layers separately so this is the subject layer and this is the background layer so i'm just going to name this subject and i'm going to name this background now i'm going to right click and convert them into a smart object now the reason for this smart object is because we are scaling them so we don't really need them to lose any quality now you should put that in mind that you can just animate the way you want it not much you have to put them into a smart object but i'm just putting them into a smart object because i want them to retain its quality now you should know that if you are posting your artwork on instagram you have to change your document size like mine it's not really going to fit into instagram you can just see it right here from the bottom left on the bottom yeah the bottom left but if you want to post it instagram size you can go over to create a new file and just put for the instagram size you can put in 1080 by 1350 as the height and you click ok now it's going to create a site created for you then you can just grab i'm going to turn this up you don't need that and you're going to drag and drop your artworks inside of this folder uh, inside of this document and you can animate um yeah i'm not going to be posting this on instagram so i really don't need that so let's start animating 
so the way i want to animate this background is zooming out and the model is zooming in that's just how i want to do it and that's just a simple basic animation we can do in photoshop well you can go crazy by adding other video overlays and so on well in time we're really going to go in depth of animating in photoshop but this is just really the basic steps of animating your artwork in photoshop so now when you look down to the timeline you can see the only thing you have here is just to create a video timeline yeah just that just what you're going to get when you first open the timeline now we have those layers and we want each and every layers to appear on this timeline so that we can start animating because if these layers does not appear on this timeline there is no way we can animate so all you just have to do is click on create video timeline and this is everything you have you can see them there so the moment we select an any layer on our timeline it's also switching in our layers part like if we click the layer zero it's going to and we couldn't even name the background right so all right so now we'll click on the back on the subject it's going to the subject or we'll click on the background it's going to the background so all we're animating is just the background and the subject layer so now we look at the left part of each and every layer you can see that we have an arrow at the left part of it now that arrow is telling you that inside of all those layers or the, yeah or the timeline or the layers we have a drop down menu so when i click on the background you can see that we have transform opacity and style now i'm not really going to go in depth of all this stuff but just give me to using the transform but this style you can add a layer style to your artwork that is if you want to and this is to animate your opacity and this is to animate the transform so we are only going to be working with the transform so control zero to fit my artwork to the screen now before i click on that what I'm going to do first, I will go over to my background and go to edit and then free transform. Now I'm going to scale this up, holding down the alt key. Now there is something you need to understand. If you are making use of Photoshop 2018 and below, to scale from the middle, you just have to hold down the alt and the shift key to scale from the middle. But if you are on 19 and 20, you just have to hold down alt to scale from the middle now i'm making this up 20 so this is just what i'm going to do so i'm going to scale this up just like this it's okay this way and i'm going to hit on okay with this playhead that we have right here we can use this to scroll down through the timeline but that is not what we want to do first so let's see all we have here is just 20 seconds or just five seconds if i'm correct yeah that's just five seconds that we have there so with the playhead set at the beginning of the timeline just like this the way it is that just that part the playhead set at the beginning of the timeline i'm going to hit on the clock icon at the transform at the left part of the transform and when you click that you can see that we have a key frame now we are telling photoshop that something is going to happen at the beginning of that keyframe or maybe in my next video on animation i'm going to go in depth of explaining the keyframe and how the keyframe works but now if i'm going to do that it's really going to take a little bit of time and long so on now okay so now we put a what a keyframe here now you should have in mind that we've already scaled this background like with zoom in now we want this to zoom out so with the playhead we're going to drag this to the other end of our timeline now we're going to go over to what edit and free transform now i'm going to scale this down just like that and i think that is okay now i'm hit on word okay now when you see here you can see that we have another keyframe now this is telling photoshop that from the beginning of this keyframe we want this background to zoom in to zoom out to the ending of this keyframe well let's really see that so if i drag this you can see that our background is zooming out as in is zooming in as in reverse now we'll hit on the play icon you can see what's happening just give it some time let it render all right so let's hit on play again so this is what we have there
that's just what it's going to be so now we animate the background it's time for us to animate the subject so i'm going to close down that layer select the subject layer click on that and this time we want to transform the model too so i'm just going to shift this to the to this part a little bit i'm going to make use of the arrow keys on my keyboard so i'm just going to scale this model up a little bit so with the playhead i'm going to drag it to the beginning of the timeline and hit on this stopwatch icon close to the transform and drag the playhead to the ending now if you want to be certain of where you keep your keyframes you can go over to the background and open up the background properties then you'll be able to see the keyframes now you can set that to what match and this is exact this is matching exactly like the background keyframe at the end point of our timeline now i'm just going to go up to him edit and free transform now i'm just going to scale this up a little bit yeah something like this is okay yeah really and i'm going to hit on okay now i can come down and hit on play it's going to render again and once it's done rendering it's going to play this exactly the way we set our animation to be all right it has finished rendering so let's click on this and this is what we have we just animate our illustration inside of photoshop now you can go ahead and do a lot of crazy things by adding up the overlays you can add up beds to the background on the back of the subject you can animate them if you have those videos overlays and you can add up something like rings and so on you can go crazy with all this stuff but let me really show you one thing let me go over to my windows explorer and i'm going to import one overlay but in my next video on this animating your artwork in photoshop we will be going in depth of making use of overlays and i'm just going to be making use of a picture overlay and i won't be making use of a video overlay but in our next video we'll be making use of probably pictures and videos overlay so 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 i'm just going to check for a snow overlay and i'm going to drag that into photoshop now that you're so fantasy you should know that i'm going to take it off at the ending of this video so i'm going to drag this and i'm going to drop it scale it up just like that hit on ok and i'm going to play around with the blend mode and send the blend mode to somewhere around screen okay so here we have it as screen so now i'm going to locate the snow layer which i just added which is right here from my timeline this okay buddy so here is the snow layer it's at the ending of the timeline so i'm just going to drag this and take it back matching up with the timeline so what i'm just going to do i'm going to animate the snow falling from up till the bottom now you should know that i won't just taking it this way because we have a um, hard edge right here but i don't want to do that so i'm just going to keep it this way like so I'm going to zoom out again. Hit on Ctrl T to transform this snow layer properly. All right, this is okay. Click OK. Now on the snow layer, I'm going to drag the playhead to the ending, and I'm going to hit on the transform key and take it to the end point, just like that. And I will go up to Edit and Free Transform. What I'm just going to do, I'm just going to drag this down a bit just like that and hit on ok now we have this right there so now what i'm going to do i'm really going to come down to this word loop and this part and just click on what loop now you can change the resolution that is just the preview at this point now if your pc is really a bit slow you can set it to 25 really fast you can set it to 100 or you can keep it on 50 i'm just going to leave that on 50 and just only check this loop playback so that it's going to loop and now i'm just going to hit on spacebar on my keyboard to render everything and now i can just let this finish so that i can reduce the size of the timeline so that we can really see exactly what's going on right here okay so this is what we have i'm just going to hit on the spacebar to pause that and i'm going to click and drag this down hit on ctrl zero to fit the screen 
and start from the beginning of the timeline take the playhead back and you'll see it on the space bar okay so now this is what we have right here all right so if you are done with your animation what you are going to do next is just for you to export your animation now to export your animation you just have to go up to file and then export and scroll all the way down to uh, render video i couldn't even see that before i was like looking for that it, yeah <laughs> okay and it's going to initialize once it's done it's going to pop up where you are going to do that so right here we have the size you can input your instagram size but this might just really shrink the artwork for you so that's why it's advisable to set up your document workspace just as i've shown you to do that then you can just set it out and you can work with that so you can play with every other setting so what i'm going to do i'm just going to name in this part um just i'm going to leave it that way i'm not going to change anything now you can select the folder where you want to save this i'm just going to save this on the desktop for now desktop hit select yeah it's going to be on the desktop and you can create subfolder if you wish to and you can select your render option maybe adobe media encoder or photoshop image sequence i'm going to set that to adobe media encoder and the format h264 or quick time i'm going to keep it on h264 i set it on quick time i'm not going to tell you what's going to happen just go and test that yourself and <laughs> you see what's going to happen but anyway not too weird is going to happen but just something different now you can check the document size which you want to or you can put in the custom size which you already have so this is what we have here is that really exactly what we have here no that is not really exactly what we have here so we have 2480 by 3508 so let's put 3508 which is custom and that is what we have wow that is too large so we're going to keep it this way so you can just plan on with the quality if you want a low quality high quality wherever i want to upload it on youtube you can plan on with all these stuff so you want to use it for your phones and so on you can just select anyone from there now we want to what uh, animate we just want to export every frame so all we have is just 149 frames so let's say you want to um just um set a particular frame you want it to start from maybe you want to start from 10 frame you can just sit on start frame and set it 10 and set the end frame but i want all frame and that is it and here we have the render option 3d quality alpha channel and so on so we have oh interactive open gl i really don't know much about all these stuff like <laughs> don't mind me i will have the aspect ratio of the document so i'm going to leave it to 1.0 and hit on render so let's just give it some time to render the video and i'm going to be back when it's done rendering so we are done rendering so let's go and check what we've rendered so far okay so minimize photoshop and go over to your desktop and right click so let's first of all check out the size so we have these at 26 megabytes right click open with any vlc player any player of a choice i'm going to make use of vlc and let's see what we have okay so this is what we have so this brings us to the end of this video guys and if this really helps you animate your photos in photoshop don't forget to hit the subscribe button and not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon for so that you get new videos anytime i upload videos i make photoshop no not anymore i make cartoon tutorials and digital art tutorials on my channel and when i mean cartoon i don't mean cartoon animation and so on those who knows cartoon knows what i'm really talking about and those who know digital art knows what i'm talking about so don't forget to make use of that subscribe button it's really really important but wait let me really ask you guys you don't pay for subscribing right subscribing is free so just make use of the subscribe button yes just the subscribe button so see you guys in my next video and make sure that you will 
rock your illustration by animating them in Photoshop because this is really going to be awesome when I see you guys animating and don't forget if you make use of my technique to animate your videos in video artwork in Photoshop don't forget to tag me you can tag me on Facebook you can tag me on Instagram make use of the hashtag mark on Facebook and on Instagram and I'm going to receive the alert of every other things but Aside of that, see you guys in my next video and make sure to have a nice day and don't forget that creating always make fun.